Before getting into the review, I want to remind you all that I already used up my April Fool's joke, and so everything in this video is 100% true. Today I'm singing the swan song for my favorite operating system ever, Windows XP. To understand why I like it so much, you gotta know what I was using before it. I don't recall what my first operating system was, all I remember about that computer were two things. First, it took five and a quarter inch floppy disks. The other thing is that the monitor had two colors, green and black. I used to play a whole bunch of games that had ASCII quality graphics. Nowadays when someone makes a game like that, it's so cool and edgy and it proves that you don't need great graphics to enjoy a game. No, those games sucked, alright? We were better off today than we ever were. My next PC was the first one with Windows. It would boot up an MS-DOS and then you'd have to type WIN to get into Windows 3.1. On this computer, I actually used DOS more than I used Windows. I used to play such classic games as Duke Nukem, Jill Goes Underground, and Dino Park Tycoon. Windows had a much friendlier graphical user interface, but there wasn't really much to do in it. I drew a lot of crappy sketches in Microsoft Paint. Not much has changed. There was also an Office Productivity Suite, but that stuff is really boring. Not much has changed. I played a lot of Minesweeper, which as an ignorant child I called Mind Power. I also played a lot of Solitaire, which as an ignorant child I called Solitary. Those are really the only video games I played in Windows 3.1. Without an internet connection and without a CD drive, I couldn't really get much else on it, so I mainly stuck to DOS games. My next PC had Windows 95. This was a game changer. First of all, the computer booted up straight into Windows, so I pretty much never used DOS after that. I also had my first modem and CD drive, so there was a ton of stuff that I could do in Windows that I could never do before. The graphical capabilities were also a million times better, so instead of having to settle for scrolling marquee or a starfield simulator, now I could do 3D pipes, I could do the maze thing, I could do a whole bunch of really cool screensavers. The game I remember best from this PC was Sonic CD, which actually came with the computer when we bought it, and I played non-stop, triple plus game. Ironically, this is the computer on which I really stopped playing computer games. In fact, I probably played more emulated games on this computer than legit computer games. I emulated some of my favorite games, such as Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VI, and Crystalis. This was also the first computer I used to build a website, and the first computer I used to watch anime. You'd think I'd have nothing but fond memories of this computer, but no, this was the worst computer I ever owned in my life. And I can't even blame it on Windows 95, I blame it on Packard Bell, they just made the shittiest computers ever. Just about every component of this computer failed at some point or another, and it drove me insane. The other thing that sucked about this computer is that I could not get anything but real media files to play anime. Even simple AVI files just did not work no matter what I tried, it bugged the hell out of me. So finally, in 2002, I got my first computer with Windows XP, and it was the greatest day of my life. I rate my operating systems based mainly on four factors. One, run my programs. Two, play my anime. Three, don't crash. And four, don't bitch at me. Let's see how each of these factors worked with Windows XP. 1. Did it run all my programs? Absolutely, it ran everything I needed back then, and even now in 2014 it does everything I needed to do now. In fact, back then it was actually more demanding since nowadays all you really need is a good browser and you're set. 2. Did it play my anime? You bet. In fact, this is why I remember Windows XP most fondly, because it played all the anime I wanted to watch and then some. AVI, OGM, MKV, you name the file type, it ran beautifully. It was Windows XP more than anything else that really allowed my hobby of watching anime to take off. 3. Did it crash? Yeah, Windows XP crashed sometimes, but it was certainly a lot better than my previous experiences with Windows 95. 4. Did it bitch at me? Very little, and compared to Windows 95, it was stellar in this regard. The first time I plugged in a mouse to this computer, I was expecting it to bitch at me about drivers the way Windows 95 would. But nope, not here, it just ran the mouse right off the bat. I was amazed. Same deal with printers and other devices. It just ran, no bitching. Windows XP does bitch about updates once in a while, but aside from that, it's really a hassle-free experience. Perhaps the biggest testament to how much I like Windows XP is just how much I used it. Windows XP was my primary operating system for about 10 years, and I used it on 5 different machines. There was that first PC I mentioned, the PC I got for college, my first laptop, my second laptop, and also a netbook I got in 2009, which I still use occasionally to this day. I majored in computer science in college, so it's not like I didn't have exposure to other operating systems. They just didn't do all the things that I wanted them to do as conveniently as Windows XP did. 
The landscape's changed a lot since then, and Windows alternatives are certainly a lot more appealing. Macs were always more user-friendly than Windows, and nowadays they have a lot of great software. They're just too damn expensive. I was playing around with Ubuntu on my netbook last year, and at its best, it is disturbingly user-friendly for Linux. However, at its worst, it's still Linux, it's not going to run all the programs you want it to run, and it'll bitch at you for doing things that should be relatively simple, but instead take one massive command after another to get right. For now, I'm sticking with Windows 7, which has been great so far, but after that, maybe I'll give Ubuntu or some other Linux distro another shot. As for Windows XP, I'm giving it a final grade of double plus. Now it's time to finally say goodbye to Windows XP, along with the Claymore background I haven't changed in at least four years. It's been a wild ride. Well, next time I'm finally getting back to my anime reviews. It's gonna be good, don't miss it.